Hello, I'm Jake Yap and I'm a comedian and I sort of read things out for money. That's all I'll do. Okay. I probably want to travel with Peter Davison because he was my doctor. He was the one that I began with. I know everyone always bangs on about Tom Baker. Oh, Tom Baker was great. Probably not to you because, you know, you're like nine, but like amongst my generation, everyone was like, oh, Tom Baker, he was fantastic. But for me, it was Peter Davison because that was when I got into Doctor Who and first got that very strange kind of love, hate, fear, hot, cold feeling and uh, in my tummy. And yeah, so it would have been him, definitely. And plus, you know, you've got to love someone who who, who basically acts by breathing. Ha! Ah, yes, it's a uh, ha! Ah, carbon based, ha! Uh, ah. He does that, have you noticed? <laughs> That's good. I, I don't know that I relate to any of uh, Doctor Who's companions because um, they're all sort of feisty and courageous and great, and I'm a coward. I would spend the whole time in the TARDIS going, no, 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 don't let's go there, let's stay, why don't we just go to the shops? So I, I don't. I don't really relate to any of them, I don't think. Uh, what was it, what was, um, was it Rose's boyfriend? He was, he was a bit like that, wasn't he? I can't remember, Mickey. He was a bit sort of like, let's just calm down. Maybe we don't have to go and watch the supernova explode. You know, maybe we could just go to the pictures, you know? I'd, I'd be a bit more like that. Uh, f for me, it would, it would still be, uh, th well, you've got to, the, the, the angels, the blink angels uh, are terrifying, but um, going way back to the five doctors, um, it's, it's the thing, I can't remember its name. I sort of blocked it out, it's a trauma thing. The things that jump, they go whoop, shoo. Um, what are they, what are they called? Raston Warriors. Raston Warriors. Raston Warrior Robots. If I say that when you're drunk. Um, uh, yeah, that, that was absolutely terrifying, but that's because I was in the middle of watching it and there was a power cut one day and it had just jumped and disappeared and I was sort of waiting for it to land like here. Um, Dad! Dad! So, um, yeah, they were, they were scary. <laughs> the, the first memory I have of, of a Doctor Who story is, and I'm dying to watch it again, um, is of, uh, was it, did, uh, Peter uh, Davison uh, had, he had an assistant called, was it Adrian? There was Tegan, who looked a bit like Wincy Willis off of TV AM. This would mean nothing to you kids. Um, and uh, was it Adrian? Ald Aldrich? Adric. See what the brain does over the years. He basically, uh, he had to uh, save the doctor, I think, and he, he took off like a badge or something. That It was like his life force badge. And he sort of had to scratch out something in a robot to sort of kill it, but it meant that he was gonna die. I was, I was very upset by that. I mean, very upset. I'm not okay. You didn't ask, but I'm not okay. Kind of correct. <laughs> <laughs> It was a long time ago. I mean, we're talking like 32 years ago. What about Earthshock? Is that what it was? Earthshock. I'm so going to go by that. Peter. Davis, Peter H. Davison. <laughs> it would be the five doctors. It would, it would have to be the five doctors. I think the five doctors is, is just, it's fantastic. It, it's got a bleakness to it. You, you know, you say you want to cheer yourself up on a rainy day. I think the point of the five doctors is it's so dismal and depressing most of it and so lonely and morose that you suddenly realize that oh, maybe my own life isn't so bad after all i'm not stuck in the tower of rassilon for eternity i would go to uh the moon in about 1955 and i would leave uh, a mobile phone right by the site of where the lunar lander was about to land, just to really play with their minds. Uh, I confess I do like Star Wars. I am a fan of Star Wars. Um, I'm, I'm excited about the new film. What do I like? I don't know. I, don't, I, don't, I mean, the trouble is <clears throat> I hate comedy and I hate theater. I, just, I, I sort of hate culture generally, you know. Now I think about it, I, I hate, it's not culture really, it's people. You know, I hate people, so. Strictly! <laughs> I like Strictly. I do. I love Strictly. And I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. I like TV when it's well made and it doesn't have to be posh. I, do you know what I don't like? I don't like Game of Thrones.